Hey survivors, Keith K here, and today we've got another quick crafting tutorial for The Forest, the horror survival game from End Night Games. This game can be a bit of a tough grind, and in this series, I hope to take some of the guesswork out of the various items that you can craft and how to use them throughout the game. So um, if you want to uh, get notification as these come out, please do consider subscribing. And with that, let's get to it. First up, let's get to our crafting menu. So you're gonna press I for inventory. And this opens up your crafting menu. Here you have all the inventory that you're carrying uh, and this pad here in the middle where you can add items and then attempt to craft them. And when something is craftable, you'll get this little gear icon. And if you hover over it, you can see everything that can be crafted. And today we're gonna to take a look at the slingshot. The slingshot is a good early game weapon. As you see here, the slingshot requires one stick, one cloth, and one electrical tape. The electrical tape you can find in the suitcases, so it's really important to make sure that you gather suitcases up um, as you go early in the game, right when you land, and then when you get to the villages. Uh, you will want that electrical tape for the slingshot uh, early on. So we can combine those. There's our slingshot. <clears throat> You'll use uh, small rocks as ammo for this. And um, you can find these uh, all over the place generally, but you can also find them along the shoreline, uh, especially, and uh, even sometimes along the rivers. Now we can uh, actually combine this with the backpack and we can assign this to another slot. I'm gonna go ahead and assign this to number two, and then we'll assign the ax to number four while we're at it. Okay, and the slingshot is really useful in um, early game in getting rabbits. And it has a little bit of an area effect. So you can see there, <clears throat> just took one shot, we can skin the rabbit. And not only does the rabbit provide us food, but if we go back to our inventory and take a look at the rabbit fur, it does give us access to things that are gonna be pretty useful, especially early on. Uh, the quiver for holding arrows, the pouch for holding berries, the small rock bag, the stick bag uh, for holding more of those items. So you're going to want to get this pretty quickly. And um, you can also use this to kill birds and lizards. Um, that is pretty effective against those. Looks like I didn't get any this time, but uh, one shot usually does it. And it's a good way to get some feathers too while you're at it. One thing you can do if you're having a hard time finding small stones is you can craft an improved uh, stick. And that's just with one cloth and one stick. Uh, and then we'll just remove this. Let's go ahead and... Now if you grab your improved stick, you can light it on fire, but if you just hit the ground you can get coins and small rocks. So that's just one little tip um, in terms of finding ammo. If you're on the beach, you'll find plenty. But if you need more, you can use this improved stick and just hit the ground over and over again. And you will find plenty of rocks. And again, you can only uh, hold so many, I think it might be 10, uh, but once you have enough rabbit fur and you craft the small rock bag, you can hold quite a bit more. That's going to do it for today. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this and it helped you in the game. If, you, if it did, please give a like and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching everybody.